Crafts, it's Sam. First of all, I know I always say first of all, <laughs> but I took the Intelligender test last night, or sorry, not last night, this morning, um, and I have the results. So if you guys are interested in finding out whether what the results of the Intelligender test, um, obviously it's like not 100%, but you know, boy or girl, um, I will have my blog post link in the down bar. So you guys can go and check that out because so excited. I've had quite a few of you ask for a hair care routine. I haven't done an updated one for such a long time and I do have quite a new, a new, quite a new, quite a few new products that I've really really been liking and I know that it's been hard to tell whether my hair is doing like nice or if it's in good condition because I've been wearing it up so much. It feels really good. I have been just kind of letting it air dry most of the time and it just feels so silky and so Oh, it just feels really, really healthy. I'm really, really liking everything that I'm using right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started and let you guys know exactly what I'm doing. Now, my hair, I would say, is... Well, it's obviously color treated. I have highlights and lowlights in it. It's quite thick and it's a little bit wavy. So now you guys kind of know what my hair is. It looks a lot thinner than it actually is. It is actually quite thick, but when I end up, you know, flat ironing it or curling it, it kind of calms it down a little bit. But for shampoo, and I, I did speak about this in my Friday Favorites and Fudge Roos, this is the Biomega Moisture Shampoo from Aquash. And first of all, I think the packaging is so cute. But not only is the packaging cute, it really, really works nicely in my hair. It smells really good. It has like a kind of florally smell. The smell stays in your hair until you wash your hair the, the next time. And I usually wash my hair every other day or every two days, depending on the style I'm wearing and it still smells really good the entire time. It has a nice lather, and I also believe that these are sulfate-free. Yes, they're sulfate and paraben-free, UVA, UVB color protection, and no animal testing, which I really, really like. It's like good stuff, you know? Uh, so this is gonna be good for color-treated um, hair. And then also, if you do like the whole sulfate paraben-free, then cool beans. I've tried a lot of sulfate-free shampoos, and some of them I just felt like I was getting a buildup. It wasn't cleaning my hair very well. It was kind of just like, oh, this chair. It's like rolling back like a psychopath. I felt like my hair was never clean. And I don't get that feeling with this. I feel like my hair is clean. It has a nice lather. It doesn't like stay feeling greasy or producty or anything like that. So I really like this. And then, and these are by Aquash, by the way. I have the matching Biomega Moisture Conditioner. Now, my only problem with this, and this always happens, I don't know why companies do this because it really, really irritates me. This shampoo is 10 ounces. This conditioner is five ounces. Oh, I always run out of conditioner first because with the Poo Man, why is that half the amount of the shampoo? It really irritates me because now it's gonna be off. It's gonna ruin the whole cycle of shampoos and conditioners. Do you know what I mean? Um, so that's irritating because I, I literally think I have like one or two times left of this and this is still really, really full. But I have been using this for a good, I don't know, couple weeks at least. Again, this smells really good, very kind of florally. Uh, this is this is sulfate-free, paraben-free, UVA, UVB color protection, and again, no animal testing. And these are for dry damaged hair, but it says that they have omega-rich moisturizers and keratin amino acids, so it's supposed to restore moisture, elasticity, and healthy shine, which I feel like all of those things have happened. So those are really nice. I like those a lot for my kind of weekly treatment. Um, and I do this once a week and leave it in for maybe 10 minutes. This is the, oh, freak nuts. Oh, I just poured all over my leg. There's still water in it. <laughs> um, this is the Wella Brilliance Fine to Normal Hair, uh, treatment for fine to normal colored hair. And that's what it looks like. It's basically just a treatment that you do once a week. Um, and it just kind of gives you that extra like, oh, I'm having a little bit extra. Let's take a looky, have a little looky, have a little looky right now. I don't think this is sulfate free. But it says it instantly helps restore and enhance vibrancy of colored hair. Apply after shampooing and then leave for five minutes. I leave mine for 10 and then you rinse it out. But it just, it's basically just if you color your hair, but I still think whether you go highlight or low light or whatever color you do your hair, it's always good to use a color treated, um, you know, kind of treatment. 
just to make sure everything is staying nice and vibrant and especially if you're in the sun a lot too you don't want it to like fade out and be all pooish uh, then when I get out of the shower I towel dry my hair I use a you know what are they called turby twisty turbo twist whatever they're called towel those are awesome because they get so much of your moisture out of the hair so that when you go to blow dry it's not like soaking wet plus they're really light so you can't like whack anybody with them when you tip your head over okay this is the aquage biomega moisture mist and this is basically just a leave-in conditioner again super cute packaging i think it smells the same as the shampoo and conditioner let me smell yeah still that kind of florally it's it's not florally it's like a florally perfumey scent this again is sulfate and power paraben free UVA, UVB color protection, and no animal testing. So it's basically exactly the same as the shampoo and conditioner, but it's just a leave-in conditioner. But what I really like about this is it's very, very lightweight. It doesn't feel, you know how sometimes when you use leave-in conditioners, you can feel it in your hair when you're blow drying. Even when you're putting it in, it's a little bit slippery and you can feel the product in there. This just literally feels like you're spraying water in your hair. Um, it just, it's very light. So if you have maybe like quite fine hair or hair that gets weighed down easily, I think this would be really, really good for you because I never feel it in my hair. It's so lightweight. And it just says revive your fine, dull, or dry hair instantly with the ultra light infusion of energizing vitamins and essential minerals. Living hair healthy, hydrated, tangle free. Oh, and by the way, this conditioner, as soon as you put it on, it feels super, super silky and gets rid of all your tangles. So yeah. That's what I've been using as far as that goes. These are kind of like my styling products for when I do actually decide to style my hair other than wearing it up in a bun every second of my life. So for when I wear my hair curly, I've really been loving this. Um, this I've just got this for maybe a week or two. It's the GK Hair Form Her Mousse. And basically it's just a foam that you put in your hair. I put it in my hair when it's damp after I've sprayed my leave-in. And then I blow dry my hair upside down on low heat or sorry, low speed, high heat, and just scrunch it, and it just gives you that wild curl texture. Um, it's just really, really great for if you're someone that needs volume and needs to kind of build up your hair for maybe even an updo, just because it, it gives you that texture and it gives you kind of that body that you might not have without it. And, and if you do have curly hair, if you wanna wear it loose, that's also a really, really great one for that too. Really, really like that, and it smells, oh my God, I have it. It smells exactly like orange juice, so that's delightful. For when I like flat iron or blow dry my hair, like either round brush it and then flat iron it or just flat iron it or curl it or whatever, you know, like with a curling iron. The first thing that I do is put in my GK Hair Juvexin Serum. And that's what that looks like. It doesn't have a lid because I threw it away because I don't like lids. Although I need to throw away this lid because look, it's still on there. I just don't like lids. They annoy me. This is just basically a serum. You just put it in your hair. You can do it when it's wet or dry. And it does have, it's a very interesting smell. And I think I've told you guys this before. It kind of reminds me of kind of a Elizabeth Arden or Estee Lauder kind of oldish type perfume. Um, but I really, really like the smell. But it's, it's a very strong scent. So if you are sensitive to smells, I definitely would pass on it because it is quite strong and it does stay in your hair. That's the only problem is if you do have a sensitive nose and you're like, whoa, that stinks, you will smell it in your hair. But I actually really like the smell. So that's what I do. I put kind of like two squirts in there, kind of rub it in my hen my hens, my ends before I blow dry, and then I'll usually put another tiny little squirt in once it's dry. And that just gives it like a nice shine. It helps smooth it out. It's got or, or, organ, argan oil and it helps like with frizz. When I flat iron, I use or curl, you know, any kind of heat I'm using. Um, this is the Infra, InfraGuard Shermal, oh my God, can I not talk today? Whatever. InfraGuard Thermal Defense Light Shine Mist. I got it. From Ozone Hair Systems. And I've had this for a really long, long time actually. And it lasts forever because it's so like misty that and it's quite rich if you spray a lot of this you will look like a greasy head so i usually tend to stay away from my roots with this because i it can make you look real oily um you barely need any i just spray it on the ends usually like one or two squirts is fine it's a leave-in protectant or sorry a leave-in treatment it's got 
organic jojoba. Prevents heat damage, helps with frizz, and is really pretty and shiny. So this is really, really great for if you do use like the hot kind of flat irons or curling irons or whatever, just to give you that extra protection and make it really nice and shiny. But if you do flat iron your hair without any kind of serum or spray or anything like that, I feel like it just doesn't give you the same effect as it does if you do have I just always recommend using some kind of protectant in there and some kind of serum because it just gives you that nice, sleek, kind of silky, soft, beautiful hair look. So, and then when I flat iron, I use the Hanna Shine Shield. It is basically a leave-in treatment, protects your hair from heat, styling and everyday stress with silk proteins, botanical vitamins, and it makes your hair really shiny. It's just a serum. I put usually like one little kind of dime size amount, rub it in my hand and then put that on the ends before I flat iron. And then if you have to, like afterwards, after you've curled or styled or whatever, just to kind of make everything smooth, no frizzes, no fluffs, no flyaways, and it just makes it shiny. And let's see, what does it smell like? It has kind of a soapy smell to me. Oh, I didn't tell you what this ozone smells like. I think the ozone smells quite nice. Yeah, I really like the smell of the ozone. It's like, I can't describe the smell, but it smells really good. So I hope that helps. <laughs> yeah, you guys are real, uh, or you're, I'm a real expressive little person or something. I explain so well. Now for hairsprays, this is the one I've currently been using. It's the Biomega Firm and Fabulous Hairspray. And look how cute it is. It's like so cute. Um, I also really, really like the Kenra Volume Spray, which I will grab for you. This is the Kenra Volume. This is really great if you like a lot of volume. Um, this one I haven't tried as far as using it for volume. I've literally just used this for when I wear my hair up and I want to kind of keep it in place without being so stiff or crunchy. It just holds everything in, in place without, it's just nice and soft and it's, you know, it's not like, whoa, hairspray head. Um, it does have a nice smell, so that's good. And the Kenner smells nice too. As far as if I want to have like a really, like, like say today I've got all these little flyaways and I want, say if I want them to be like, you are not going anywhere, you cannot, you cannot butt, you know? Like, you better stay there. This is amazing. It's the Freeze and Shine Super Spray from Paul Mitchell. This is, I've used this for years. Uh, this is so, first of all, it smells like watermelon. It has got the most yummiest smell of life. I wish I could use this. I wish they would make, like, a, a shampoo or leave-in conditioner that smelled like this because the smell is just amazing. But basically, this is hardcore hairspray. It will leave your hair crunchy, it will leave your hair crispy, and it does give a really, really nice shine. But it's, um, obviously it's just a, you know, pump top rather than an aerosol, and I think this one is aerosol. Yeah, this one is. This one is kind of like a wet spray, if you know what I mean. So this is great. I would pull these little things up. This one is Albert, right here. And this one is Humphrey. Don't you like the names? Not after Chris Humphrey. Um, but anyway, so say if I wanted those to be really, just really slicked back, like, you know, like the stars wear at their, at their Oscars or whatever, where it's just really like, mm, you know, like no fluffies anywhere, you would use this. It holds it amazingly. And once again, it is crispy. So it, it's basically like, you know, when you touch it, it's like a little crunchy, but it will not move at all. So that is my hair care routine or updated hair care routine. I hope that it helps and I hope I've given you some kind of ideas of what to get or you know if you were thinking about getting something you're like I don't know now you know. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out my little blog post you guys can find out what the test said. Woo 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 woo. I'll see you guys tomorrow and thank you for all of your lovely comments um, on Facebook and Twitter and everywhere about um, our congratulations on our baby. That was really, really sweet. We appreciate it so much. And I can't reply to everyone because there's so many. Um, I feel really bad that I can't like individually thank everybody, but just know that we saw them and we appreciate them so much and you guys are so sweet and you're the best. So I'm gonna go now. Bye.